what's going on guys hope you're doing well so we have got coming up next elvis houston astrodome texas the interview 1970 this is me i, I like to get into the deep stuff of elvis you know the back behind the scenes you know you can't beat elvis behind the scenes stuff it's just fantastic to, to see him and his humour and just just the way he is because he the way he is on stage is the way he was obviously just as a normal human being just a lot of fun so yeah so let's get into it don't forget to hit the like subscribe share hit that notification bell and let's do this nice so i like it boy Prepared to Las Vegas. What, uh, what made you decide to come to Texas? Oh, uh, well, <coughs> you know, to, to tell you the truth, I started out here in Texas. I, I think the, 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 uh, the uh, first shows that I worked was down here, man, around Houston. And Remember what location you worked here in Texas? Well, I worked, uh, I worked Houston, I worked uh, Corpus Christi. I have a little town here, Longview, man, you, you name it, I've been there, you know, really, I've been all over Texas. What do you think of Texas? <laughs> I like it, I like it. Elvis, can you really give enjoy us, uh, uh, I understand with all the big uh, engagements like Las Vegas, etc., the reason why you selected the livestock show and rodeo this year? Well, uh, the, uh, they asked me to do it, and I was anxious to do some live appearances, you know, I haven't... It's been a long time since I've been on stage in front of anybody live. And uh, I was anxious to do some live appearances, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to get in front of the people. Have you ever uh, seen the inside of the dome before? Never have. It scares them. <laughs> it's a big place, man, you know. You've been known in the past as a king of rock and roll. Do you think your style has changed now from uh, the days that you were king, or do you consider that still your style? Uh, well, I think the overall thing has improved. Uh, the overall sound's improved, I mean. But I think it, uh, it's, it's according to the songs, you know, it's just according to the songs. Did your stage pre uh, presentation still the same way it was, or have you improved on that? I, well, I just do whatever I feel on stage, you know. As I always did that. Are you going to keep making like, films? I hope to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I'd like to make better films than the yeah, kind of made before. Well, better than the ones I made before. You know. I mean, uh, <coughs> West Excuse me, I can't take this fresh air, man. I'm used to the back, the garbage can at the uh, International Hotel, man. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't smell some garbage, I don't feel at home, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> Do you have any films uh, in the making right now or any plans? No, there's nothing in, as far as I know of, is it, Colonel? Anything in the workings? I can't commit myself. An 8 millimeter <laughs> Walt Disney special we're doing next year, I think. I don't know. <laughs> we're shooting it, some now. Right? There's nothing as far as I know. No. When you look at your opportunity to go and try to fill up the Astrodome. Well, it, it'll be the type of stuff that I do. It's a mixture of things, you know. It's it's uh, a little rock and a little... Little country western. Essentially the same show you do there in National Hotel? Yeah, it's the same type of thing. A lot of different type of songs. So I, I just hope I can put on a good show, man. What happened to the Jordan Airs? I can't get them out of Nashville, man. They they got stuck in Nashville and uh, <laughs> you know, they make so much money and they they do they, they do so well in Nashville you you can't get them out of there. You, know. <laughs> you have any thoughts about the rising interest in country music? I think it's fantastic. You see, country music was always a part of, uh, of the influence on my on my type of music anyway. It's a combination of, of uh, country music and gospel and rhythm and blues all combined is what it really, really was. As a child, I was influenced by all of that. Do you consider yourself basically a country music singer? Uh, I would hate to say strictly country because of the fact that uh, I liked all different types of music when I was a child, you know. Of course, the Grand Ole Opry was the first thing I ever heard, probably. But I liked blues and I liked uh, the, the uh, gospel music, <clears throat> gospel quartets and all that. Do you ever pull out any of those old records from the Sun label and listen to them at all? <laughs> they sound funny, boy. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
They got a lot of echo on them, man, I'll tell you. Uh, <coughs> but that's what I mean. I, I think the overall sound has improved today, you know. Well, do you think there's more gimmicks today than there was, uh, say, 15 years ago? There, there, there's probably more gimmicks, but I think that, uh, I think that the, the engineers have improved, and I think that the techniques have improved, the overall recording. Consideration of uh, further reevaluation of your career to get you back in front of live audiences again? <coughs> In other words, you, you, you are available to the public only in films. Yeah. For a long period of time. And well, I think the most important thing is the, uh, the, the, the inspiration that I got from a live audience. I was missing that. I didn't... Was it rough with the International? Was it um, a little bit of a strain on you to not being out so much? It was always tough, but I, I enjoyed it. I, 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 just, yeah, I enjoyed it. Like I, I, I know I'm going to enjoy it here because it's just, it's just it's live audience and it makes a world of difference. He's running it somewhere. Ask him. I don't know. Daddy, what are you up to? Skip the run. Miss Presley? Help us. There's evidence of Sir. Elvis' father, Mr. Vernon Presley. Could he come right in and sit down there? Lorna, don't sign nothing unless I check. I can't write. I never sign nothing. It's just fresh air, man. Uh, Elvis, there's quite an evidence of sartorial splendor. Uh, does this indicate that the... Uh, well, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the attire is not one uh, that we are familiar with seeing. It's, you uh, it was taken from a karate suit, just a regular karate-type outfit. Are they coming to get me? Is that it? <laughs> I mean, does this indicate that uh, with your type dress and everything now that you're changing a little bit of style, perhaps, uh, in deference to what you did a few years ago? I, I don't. I don't know. I. I, I think that you. That you'd have to see the show. You know, it's difficult to tell. I. I, I don't feel any different. You know. Uh, I don't think the dress has that much to do with it. I, I got the idea from a karate suit because I studied karate for a long time and uh, I had to make up a couple of suits like it. What do you do for relaxation? You said you studied karate. karate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you can relax doing this, I don't know. No, I I, uh, I I read a lot and uh, go horseback riding and stuff like that. Do you still live principally in uh... Memphis? Memphis. <laughs> About half the time. Yeah, half the time. Yeah. Half the time in L.A. In the show you have planned for the Dome, do you plan any of the old old songs, some of the first ones? I, I'd like to, you know. Any special ones? Try to a couple of them, just see if they work. <laughs> How big is your band with you? I got my yeah, it's good, good to see you. I got it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but let me let me pin this on. This is your official badge. And we got another one. Didn't want to put your name on the night that people didn't know who you were, but we were afraid they'd be trying to take it off for a souvenir. We want to pin that on you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, it's a real pleasure to have you down here with your Thank son. You, sir. Thank you. We think we're going to set all kinds of records down here. I hope so. I, I hope I can give them a good show. That's the most important thing. You will. You, no question you about will. that. Sure will. If I can give them a good show, then I feel like I've done something. You What's will. the we biggest live that. crowd you've ever performed for? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, in Vancouver, Canada. was it, Colonel? Cotton Bowl. In the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. Uh, it was about, uh, I don't know, 25,000, I guess, or something like that. Oh, it's, it's, right. it's Mr. Gracie yeah. here. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Gracie. Yeah. 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 And it's while I'm starting our livestock show, this is Mr. Chris Caramanis, who was kind of here. This is son, Barry Gracie. I think he deserves a little recognition. Well, I, I think so, if it's the right type of, of song. I think so, if it's, if it's the right type of material. You've made a couple of songs. But I, I, yes, I have. I did, like, In the Ghetto and... Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't like to do all that type stuff, you know. Well, I, in, in other words, I wouldn't like for everything to be a message because I think that there's still entertainment to be, you know, uh, considered. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Just a little snippet of the Houston Astrodome for those of you who haven't seen it. It's a good watch. It just shows 
Elvis is human side, I think. I'm going to do a few more reactions. I did do Madison Square Gardens, but I might redo that one. But I haven't put my reaction into this. So just give me your thoughts on it. Like. Leave your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. And I'll hopefully see you all soon. Still got some recording to do for the stack sessions. But we'll be getting on with that. We've got today and tomorrow. So hopefully I'll see you all soon. Take care. Adios.